Okay, I don't know where my SD card is. So I'm going to insert the SD card from the GoPro Max. There it is. Open this up. We're going to take a look inside here. And I believe today, the last one I have here, this one here. This one I copy to the desktop. That is the video I want to upload to YouTube. Um, when I open this 360 degree video, I can drag it over here to the GoPro player. And that guy, sorry, put this here on my screen. That guy then is playing here my video. Okay, so I turn this around this way if I remember that it looks at me all the time. We have here a button for horizon level and world lock. So I turn the world lock off and then it should, when I turn around, always point at me. You see that? It's always pointing at the same direction. So it's not changing. It's always pointing at me even though I drive around and turn. Okay. So we have that. Then my selfie stick is in the way because I tilted the camera on the stick. I wanted a better video quality in my direction. Okay, I can uh, say enable mount optimization. That it's analyzing the whole video and it betters the stitch line where the videos are stitched together. Um, that is going to happen here in the background. And then I need to export this video where I say here playback control projection equirectangular. That's how that looks like. And then I am going to file export as 5.6K video. In ProRes 422, I can go to the advanced options. So I do the horizon level and mount optimization 5.6K as ProRes. That's how I export this thing on my Mac. Just put it on the desktop. It will have the same name as the original file. And then up here in the right corner, we can see the progress. Okay. It's going to be right here on the side. This is the one that it's exporting right now. So we give this a few seconds. Sorry that it is so slow, but uh, I'm doing the screen recording at the same moment. And... Um, we're also rerunning this whole thing on the Mac. On the PC, it's probably very similar. While this is encoding, we are going to look for uh, the software I use to compress the video later. I'm going to use a handbrake. Let's see if I can find this here. Here. That's how the program symbol from Handbrake looks like. That's what we're going to use next. So this is exporting. Almost done. Bear with me. And we're going to send this straight to YouTube here. Okay. Good. So... Now my thing is here, my video is exported. Now I don't need the GoPro player anymore. This is my video. Um, it's a movie file now. It will have a lot of gigabytes. Oh, I want to see the info for this file. Here, it will have 12 gigabytes. So that's too much for me. To break this down to a smaller file, I use Handbrake. So drag this on Handbrake. And does handbrake open? Yeah, so it's in here. This is my file, .move. Uh, I go in here in presets and I use... There's a bunch of them this thing has, but let's do the ViewTube 4K one, that. Then we go here to Video Dimensions, right? Storage Size. Keep Aspect uh, Ratio. So. Um, that is going to be 
60k frame rate video here video we don't do 60k frame the camera does 2997 um, the dimensions we have to adjust so our original video here has the dimensions of 5376 5376 6 this is then 2688 so this is a new dimension um, you could add this now preset name uh, was go for max 5.6 K to my preset so now I will have my own preset with this so if I go to this you see it changes to whatever size here and if I go to GoPro Max my own size then I have that okay so this will um, encode this thing to MPEG4 let's do that now this is going to be a smaller file size from the 12 gigabyte this has it will be smaller and there again we go and the encoding takes a minute it will notify us when it's done now once it is done here, we need to inject the metadata with this here, Spatial Met Media Metadata Injector. So I'm going to fast forward this thing uh, to make this easier on you. You don't need to wait so much so long. We are going here until there's only 30 seconds left and then I can talk again. So this is only 30 seconds left. This should be fairly quick and then we are ready to inject the metadata with the spatial metadata media metadata injector I can start this already so if I start this application then you get a little extra window and then you can click already that your video is very cool as soon as you open it but we have to wait for this to finish here five seconds Oh, the longest four seconds of your life. Why does it take so long? Now it says it's ready. It has a notification and there's my file. It's on the desktop. Okay, so the file is here. I can turn the handbrake off and then I can say open here. Select it from the desktop here, the mp4 file open and that and then I just say inject metadata and it will write it to the desktop again with a name injected to it so it's going to be here that's not it It doesn't make sense. So, um, why did it put it? That's when you do this here. Open. It's not 42. We are on the 44. Yeah, I picked the wrong one. So, the 10, 144 I picked for. That's what it is. It has one gigabyte and now. I can say inject it, it goes to the desktop, save, and then it's going to save a new file here. And depending on how fast your computer is, it shows this sooner or later. So in this case, it's ready. Now, this is the injected file, and that we have to upload to YouTube. And in YouTube, this will automatically be a 360. If you want, you can click on the URL down here or on my YouTube here in the info button up here you can click on it to go to that particular video and see how that looks like okay thanks for watching this video all the way and I see you in the next video